Hey guys, post Sunday uh, recap video for our service this morning, Sunday, uh, August 30th. And we had a great service this morning, started with prayer. Uh, I'll let you guys know that we, we prayed for people that are, are in uh, difficult seasons in their jobs, dealing with like deadlines and pressure and uh, just maybe more work than usual. So if that's you, just know that we prayed for you as a church this morning. Then we also prayed for students, uh, university and college students that are beginning a, a semester that's, that's gonna be quite different. Uh, and then we prayed for businesses in this area that are gonna be affected by the, the absence of many of the students that would be here under more normal conditions. Um, our conversation and our topic as we uh, kind of move through the service was centered around the authority of Christ. And so we talked about kind of like what we're doing as a community, like what a church is for. And certainly one of the things that a church is for is is that together we're learning to be disciples of Jesus. We're learning to follow Jesus. And one of the elements of learning to follow Jesus is recognizing the authority of Jesus, recognizing that he speaks with authority, teaches with authority. And so what does it mean for Jesus to have authority in our lives? Of course, like disciple means follower. And so to be in that kind of relationship, there's an authority that's implied. But what does it mean for Christ to have authority in our lives? And so we talked a little bit about that, about how our how our surrender to Christ's authority can actually occur as we go through kind of darker times or experience times of brokenness or pain in our lives. Uh, and then so then we kind of wrap things up by talking about how we're going to uh, go through our weeks, how we're going to try to deepen uh, Christ's authority in our, our lives as we go through the week. And so we were talking about people had suggestions or ideas about things that we can do about the importance of getting to know one another more deeply and so on. Uh, and one of the suggestions that came, I think, is, is a great one. It's just daily, at least daily, affirming verbally the authority of Christ in your life or for me in, in my life. What that means is just maybe starting our day with a, a short prayer or a statement of Christ's authority. So starting our day, if this isn't one of your practices, starting your day with the Lord's Prayer, even before you get out of bed. Or starting your day with, uh, I like this very simple prayer from Thomas Akempis that goes, as thou will, what thou will, when thou will. I think I got the order wrong. So it's a prayer to God, uh, what thou will, as thou will, when thou will. Basically, it's trying to align our lives for me if I'm praying that it's trying me trying to align my life with the will of the Lord and so we're going to try that try practicing that throughout the course of the week talk about it when we gather together next week so great service again this morning uh, I'm going to open up the registrations or reservations uh, for next week feel free to register reserve a spot uh, again we have kids rooms available for one family per week feel free to reserve those especially if you haven't used them yet already uh, just first come first serve on those and other than that hope to see you guys next week peace